Hey guys, so what I'm going to be showing you guys today is how to actually overclock your Surface Pro 3. So if you haven't already, I recommend watching my previous video which explains how to manually update your graphics driver so you can get the best performance out of your Surface Pro 3. Alright, so the first program you would actually need is the Intel Extreme Tuner. So go to uh, Google, just type in Intel XTU and it'd be the second guy right here. Open that up, same thing, just go to uh, Windows 8.1 and then just make sure it's on the newest, pick the top one right here. And just download it, install it, it's really quick. So once you have the file, it would actually look like this guy right here. And then just open it up. So if you can't find the website, I'll actually put a link on the description. So once you have the file, open it up and just go to all controls. So if you get a warning window that pops up, that just means that you are playing with voltage. And if you don't know what you're doing, you might be you might break your Surface Pro 3. But as long as you follow this guide, you should have no problem. So the first thing you have to do is on this guy right here, bring it down all the way to 97 milliseconds or 0 0.0097. And then uh, just scroll all the way to the bottom here. So for my Surface Pro 3, the sweet spot is undervolt of 12 and ratio of 1.5 so what you want to do to find your sweet spot on your surface pro 3 is go up start at undervolt 5 so negative 5 and then just apply without touching any other settings here and then just go to stress test so what you actually want to do here is click this gear here uncheck everything else um, check the graphic TDP and then just scroll down thermal throttling power limit, current limit, graphic frequency, the voltage, and temperature. And then on this side, just open it up. Just double click select all and you should get all the settings. So what you have to really do is for the graphic stress test, make sure it's five minutes and you start it up and you kind of wait till three minute and you watch your graphic frequency. As long as it stays above 599, then you're good to go. And then you just keep increasing your frequency until you notice it dropping in the 3 minute mark. It's going below 599. That means you're going way too high. So just lower back down until you hit the farthest you can go. After that, just head over back to all controls and go back to your graphic settings. And once you find your sweet spot for your uh, undervolt voltage, uh, you go to the ratio limit and just increase it by 1. Test it. Looks good. Keep going until you see the same thing that happened. It's going down after the three minute mark. And then uh, this you don't have to worry about. Uh, you can leave it anywhere really. Reason why this is not affecting our overclock is because our mode is not static. And if you want to increase your CPU performance, if you like doing uh, rendering programs and stuff like that, same thing here. Uh, I can do another video guide on how to do that. So every time you apply a settings, uh, make sure you save it just in case that you go too high that it uh, shuts down your Surface Pro 3. So you don't have to redo uh, all the settings all over again. All you have to do is go to profile and then find the one that you just made and then show value and then click apply. So the other thing also you'll notice is after the four minute or four and a half minute mark, you'll start seeing your performance going down and going back up and down. What that means is your computer or your Surface Pro 3 is actually throttling. So it's getting too hot that it has to uh, lower its frequency just to cool itself down. Uh, there is a way to stop that so you get a constant uh, frequency. So what that means is when you do play games and you get a smooth 45 frame per second, all of a sudden later on in the game you go down up to 9, it's because you're thermal throttling. So in the next video, I'm actually going to show you guys how to stop throttling on your Surface Pro 3 so you get a you know, constant uh, frames on your games and everything else. So if you do like this video and you did learn a lot, please subscribe and like. It does help me a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.